As it currently stands, the world of Black Clover is on the precipice of a very major change. A change that stands to uproot the somewhat universal social constructs that may be found in virtually all the world civilizations, whether they be human or otherwise. With this being a world of magic, the very power that fuels such miraculous feats, known as mana, is a rather heralded concept across the board. Suffice to say, a very simple conclusion to be made from such a general convention would be that the more mana, the better. And it is this very thinking that has been the backbone of all civilized nations. It may be presumed that in ancient times, those of particularly hefty levels of mana were the most powerful of their kin. As such, they were able to rise to positions of power and control over those weaker than them. A rigid pecking order that may even be found in the case of devils in the underworld. From there, by way of selective breeding between those of high mana, the descendants of such practitioners would perpetuate such positions leading to what is now revered as nobility. Inversely, you have those of low mana levels. These folks were generally weaker than their mana rich kin, therefore giving way to a degree of dependency. Such people then came to be known as commoners or peasants. With powerful magic, success, and riches being somewhat synonymous in this world, like with ours in the past and in some cases the modern day, people seek partners that may elevate their status and the status of their offspring. With this, those at the top remain at the top, and those at the bottom remain at the bottom. This has been the case since the very beginning of known history and has yet to change. Until now. Because this sentiment dates so far back, it is likely to the vast majority of the populace indistinguishable from fact. Or at least it was until the likes of Asta. Asta is notoriously known to be completely devoid of magic, but even still, he became a magic knight. However, considering he was taken in by the Black Bulls, the least publicly accepted guild in the Clover Kingdom, such a thing was disregarded. Since his involvement, however, the ranking of the guild has skyrocketed quite considerably, and if not for their negative streak in the past, would have superseded the once believed infallible Golden Dawn. But despite the shock of this, such a thing was considered to be a moment of extreme luck and nothing more. Suffice to say, at every turn, the accomplishments of Asta and the Black Bulls continue to be overlooked in favor of the establishment and system as intended. However, to follow the recent attack on the Clover Kingdom by way of the colossal ancient demon, a threat that could not be quelled by several nobles, magic knights, a magic knight captain, or even the wizard king himself. One that spelled certain destruction for the entire nation, but was fell by a magicless peasant in a matter of seconds. The delusion of the populace is liable to be erased somewhat, if not completely, in some cases. This was a major moment that made the crowning achievement of the first Wizard King look trivial. Now, perhaps there are those who would condemn the use of a devil, despite the enemy being a demon, and fabricate some sort of orchestration on Asta's part, but at the end of the day, Asta saved everyone. And furthermore, there will be evidence to corroborate a lack of involvement, just as I imagine he will eventually be considered free of all charges. With how things are looking right now, the narrative is shifting. But beyond this, recent developments with the story may very well stand to turn the system on its head, technically, as well. Again, incredible mana is everything. Or so we thought. As explained by Zora, it is indeed possible for a peasant of little magic to utilize the absurd power of mana method, albeit by way of a somewhat different process. As it turns out, the runes forged by such a person of lacking mana are so weak that as opposed to dissipating with time like a high magic counterpart would, they linger and remain intact. Which is to say that peasants are allocated a greater degree of time to tinker and refine said magic, furthermore giving way for especially complex arrays to be prepared in advance. Now, such a thing does require a great deal of studying and introspective understanding of mana and its relationship to oneself, but if Magna, a character confirmed to have a 3 out of 5 cleverness and a 1 out of 5 wisdom, is now able to apply said tutelage against one of the greatest mortal threats of the world currently, to great effect after only 6 months of training, just about anyone could stand to see major results from something like this, especially if given even longer than that. 
you have to understand that even this is preliminary. This is like the invention of the telephone as opposed to what would one day be the release of the iPhone 13. The study of arrays in this regard could very well give power to the people and lead to some rather powerful magics and the rise of practitioners who would have otherwise never been able to fulfill such roles. The spread of which I would imagine to greatly delight the likes of the magically obsessed Sally and or Wizard King Julius. Perhaps a greater degree of preparation is required, but for the effects to be yielded, I feel that sacrifice is more than worth it. This discovery and subsequent application being so major in fact that I could very well picture a continuation or sequel of the series set in the future in which the forming of such arrays has become the norm. The time constraints and compromises of which perhaps being comparable to Nen techniques from Hunter x Hunter. And perhaps it would begin and find its footing in the Clover Kingdom. But with the way technology and general advancement works, I imagine the rest of the world would be liable to adopting such practices themselves. A rather common element to be found in such magically inclined worlds would be magical schools or institutions. Black Clover is by and large a fantasy story with tons of fictional depictions of the Middle Ages. In such times, education and the like were reserved for nobility almost exclusively. However, in time, the education of the whole as opposed to the few would become increasingly normalized. And with study being so intrinsic to this application of magic, an overhaul to the education system may be in order as well. So get ready for Black Clover Academia. It's certainly a terrifying concept for those currently in power as royalty and or nobility, but more than anything, this is a matter of military strength. A country could refuse to adapt to the times and eventually be destroyed because of it. It's like refusing to adopt firearms because you have the greatest swordsman in all the lands. And I mean that in regards to the logic of our world, by the way, not anime where a sword is comparable to a weapon of mass destruction. Black Clover, despite having a power system on the simple side of the spectrum, never fails to amaze me in regards to its diversity, creativity, and layering of concepts. This is to me the furtherance of that ingenuity, and I couldn't be more excited. As far as I'm concerned, rune arrays are the future. And if you enjoyed the video, hopefully we can expect you to be around for future uploads by subscribing to Plot Armor with notifications on. And if you'd also like to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest anime and manga news, memes, and meaningful information, additionally go ahead and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at PlotArmorYT. Because when it comes to bringing you some of the best Black Clover content on the platform, Plot Armor has you covered. As always, I am Slice of Otaku. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.